Gentlemen, let's talk about the fight. That's why we're here. Gary James, I'll start with you. You've already produced one undisputed champion. You're going for another. Can you give us some insight on what it takes to win fights like this of this magnitude, especially with so much on the line? Well, it just takes a lot of fortitude, a lot of uh, discipline, and a lot of focus. I think that uh, I know for sure Arrow has that, you know, different than Jamel or whatever. But tonight or tomorrow or Saturday night, it's just time. I mean, we waited. We made this happen. We took every belt. He just had to hold his title and fight nondescript opposition. We beat champions to get here. Listen, listen, uh, who, who's it? Why, why everybody got something to say? You get everybody talking. Everybody, you know how to fight, you're going to fight him. And then listen, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, Brian, Brian. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You know, the interesting thing is, you've already produced an undisputed champ. <laughs> now you've had the opportunity to kind of make history and do it, be the first male to do it in another weight division. You're going up against, obviously, a phenomenal fighter, and then also a trainer of the year. But if you're vict victorious on Saturday, what does that say about Brian Bomack McIntyre as a trainer? See, he got three other people helping him. Oh. Oh. It's funny, it's funny, y'all, because... Come on, y'all, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. It's, it's funny, y'all, because... <laughs> Ain't no more hide. You can't hide no more, dear. We're going to find out who the best man is. I respect you for what you've done in the game. But you ain't never went up against me or my staff. So you remember something. We've been here before. You trying to get there. All right? I can tell you how it is to be undisputed. You can't tell me shit. Sit back and watch this. Sit back and watch this. I promise you something. I promise you something. Mm -hmm. I missed was the popcorn. Oh my goodness. Listen, we've seen the fighters. They got it on. They said what they're going to say. But this is the first time I've seen Derek James, Brian McIntyre, aka Bo Mac, come together with this type of aggression. That lets you know it is on and it's more than just the pressure of the fighters the, really the fighters they do their thing they're going to do what they're going to do but it's the people it's the training it's the staff it's the trainers it's the fans it's the fanatics it's the fanboys it's the groups it's the circles it's all those things combined that are surrounding this particular fight and everybody else wants to be right bars that's what it's about and i think that if anything, Derek James is feeling a little antsy. He normally doesn't say anything. If you can remember the Anthony Joshua press conferences, he didn't have a lot to say about anything. He was the quietest guy there. But now he's the most verbal. He's very aggressive. Brian Bomack has always been that way. He's always been a, you know, a very outspoken person. But as far as... <laughs> Derek James, Derek James is on angst. He got pissed off at the people that was talking at him. Are you a trainer? Are you a fighter? And I was like, oh, shit. You know, one thing that tells me, Derek's mad. Derek's mad. Derek's nervous. Derek's, he's on angst. He's on angst, people. And he knows exactly what's at stake. See, 
not only does he lose, if a fighter loses, he loses all those belts, all those people. And those guys that he fought, Kell Brook, Sean Porter, Yodenis Ugas, that all goes up in smoke if Terrence goes and takes all those belts from Errol Spence. Okay, and he knows that. He knows the pressure's on because he knows that not only is it for the fighters, it's also for his credibility as a trainer because what happens when you get to that very top, the whole thing is staying there. Will he stay there? Can he stay there? And the whole thing is staying there. But you got to go through hell and high water to stay there. You got to go through Terrence Crawford. So everything that you hear is a distraction. It's a problem. It offends you or you're pissed. You react to it. You're responding to it. You're getting uh, agitated. That's what I've seen from Derek James. Bo Mack is going to be Bo Mack, but Derek James definitely came out of his character. So if anybody between the two trainers won, it has to go to Bo Mack. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.